Hey you guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's me. Um, I am getting this video done while I have Baker and Whit and my two youngest ones outside, so forgive them if they walk in and out. Uh, I have my Vera Bradley measuring tape because today I am going to compare my Moterm A5 planner to my Franklin Covey classic size Tyler binder. Um, Robert that follows my channel had asked about this and I've owed him this video for quite some time. So I figured I would go ahead and knock it out. But many of you guys have also been asking me throughout my videos to compare them. So I love Franklin Covey. I will just tell you that I was using my Franklin Covey Tyler binder. I was using it for quite a while, um, almost a full year. But when I was going through my divorce, I just realized I needed to start simplifying my life. And so that's why I chose to start using the Moterm A5. Right now, it looks super chunky just because I've been working on some stuff, but uh, you can tell it's been kind of weathered, etc. I love the Moterm A5 Black that I have. Same leather type, so it feels the same. This one's a little more soft just because it's more pliable. This one's what's called structured. But I wanna show you and compare this one right here. So inches is about a little over 10 this way. You can hear the boys yelling in true mom fashion. Uh, this way, we're looking at about two and a half, uh, right, two and a quarter, two and a half on this side. So let me show you. And I have mine stacked pretty big, you guys. Um, this right here was interesting because I pulled this out of storage. I haven't used it in so long. It looks like time stopped. It was kind of, it's kind of freaky because there's stuff in there that I'm like, oh my God, I need to like just go through and clear here. But I had told Robert, from the channel like hey I'll show you what it looks like so this is what I had things and reasons why I decided to go with the mo term was I really love the Carrara inserts I was using two sets two full sets and each of the sets in a classic size range about 80 to 90 dollars after tax sometimes shipping depending on how big your order is but I was using the daily spread so I was using daily with the prioritized tasks and having space for notes but I was also using this other area where I had weekly views to kind of see my, just from a bird's eye view, what, you know, what I was, was doing. So in essence, doubling up on the planner sheet. So from a cost perspective, it's a lot, but at the time I wasn't really worried about the cost because I was using my planner. However, now I use my Moterm, the A5, my weekly spread right here. It shows you like this is literally I don't have two sections I don't have a daily and a weekly this is my full what I've got in my planner so I love it because to give you an idea this is through the end of the year this started I've got this one from July through December so that's how thin it is now when you take the Franklin Covey inserts and I'm adding the daily and the weekly because that's what I was doing in essence, right? So for the weekly view, and this is only three months at a time, it's almost the same thickness as what that full year was. And then you start adding the dailies and this is just March through, this is a one month. So it's quite significantly more. Part of that also adds weight. Like the weight of this one is a lot heavier than the weight of the motor, like a lot different. This one is also pliable and it has these pockets that the Tyler binder didn't have. Even though I loved the zipper on the Tyler binder, this one doesn't have it, but it has pockets. And I'm finding that pockets are more beneficial for what I need in just kind of my season in life right now. So usually carrying bills, cards, notebook, whatever, it just makes it a lot more simple. But the weight on this one has been a lot easier not to mention the rings. So the rings on this one are a lot smaller, not the matte black. I wish I had that, but I can live without it. But it allows me to also just keep what is essential in my planner, not adding too much. Because in here, I would add extra stuff like, oh, that sounds like, oh, that's a great idea. I'll add it like missions and goal sheets and meeting planners and client files and like all of this stuff, but it just, I wasn't using it. I was not being effective. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff and just didn't use it. These folders, I didn't use them. I bought them. So kind of 
ultimately what happened is I just decided I wanted a planning system that I would effectively use so that it wasn't just a hobby and it wasn't just for Instagram or Pinterest or whatever, that it's actually stuff that I'll be using. So that is the bottom line why I started Moterm and I've, I've been really effective. It's been able to allow me to get my week to weeks done the way that I need to. I integrated and added a monthly view for some of my goals. I've been able to add a wish list of things that I want to get done, my gratitude lines that I've been working on, and I've even now started integrating work spreadsheets for like goals and objectives and habits that I'm wanting to accomplish. So this is much more effective and efficient for me to use from a goal perspective, day-to-day -day tasks, etc. versus this one. So for now, I've been asked the question, are you gonna stick with the Mo term through the rest of the year? My answer without a doubt is yes. Um, will I ever go back to a Franklin Covey? There's Whitten. I don't wanna say no, uh, that I won't. I don't want to say yes either way. I'm trying to stay kind of fluid. I'm learning to release control and part of that releasing control is just using what is working for me right now. So with that said, I'm going to go uh, tell these kids to behave because it's starting to rain. It's Arizona, so monsoon season. But that, I hope, kind of shows you what they look like. Um, if you want me to, Robert, if there's any other question about it, let me know and I will answer it. Bye, guys. <laughs>